Catherine Jacobs Dettier left Green TBD parliamentary elections were held in Iceland on 25 September 2021 to elect the members of the Althing. The 2017 parliamentary election was called after the collapse of the coalition government between the Independence Party, Reform Party, and Bright Future after the withdrawal of the latter over a breach of trust involving a request to grant a convicted child sex offender, restored honor, from the father of Prime Minister Bjarni. Benedictson. In the 2017 election, the Independence Party lost five seats and was reduced to 16, while the Reform Party lost three to win four, and Bright Future was eliminated from the Alding entirely. The Left Green Movement gained one seat to win 11. The Social Democratic Alliance gained four seats to win seven. The Progressive Party remained steady with eight seats, and the Pirate Party lost four seats and was reduced to six in total. Two parties entered the Alding for the first time, with the People's Party securing four seats and the Centre Party winning seven seats, with 16 seats and 25.2% of the vote. The Independence Party achieved its second worst electoral performance in its history in terms of vote percentage, the worst being the 2009 election, and tied its record low number of seats. A total of 24 women were elected to the Alding compared to 30 in the 2016 election. Of those elected to the Alding, 19 are new, but this is considerably lower than in 2016 with 32. On 30 October, President Guni Th. Johannesson met with the leaders of the eight parliamentary parties. The four former opposition parties held informal talks, with the Progressive Party in pole position to determine whether the Independence Party Athe Left Greens would lead the next government. After meeting with Johannesson, Left Green leader Katran Jacobs Dettier declared that she wanted to form a government with the four former opposition parties, noting that though a coalition with additional parties would provide more than 32 seats, it was out of consideration before a four party coalition was first attempted. On 2 November, Guni Th. Johannesson granted Katran Jacobs Dettier leader of the left green movement the mandate to form a coalition between her party the progressives social democratic alliance and pirates the four having agreed to begin formal coalition talks on the 6th of november after the progressives announced that they would not continue talks over difficult issues with such a thin majority jacobs Dittier announced that she would return her mandate in the following days the leaders of the left greens Independence Party and Progressive Party discussed the possibility of forming a coalition together, with the left Greens insistent that Jacobs Dittier become Prime Minister in that case. An idea supported by the Progressives. In exchange, Demissionary Prime Minister Bjarni Benedictson would be appointed Finance Minister. Talks between the three parties were completed swiftly, and after meeting with Jacobs Dittier on 28 November, Johannesson formally granted her the mandate to lead a government with the Independence Party and Progressive Party, pending the support of each of the parties, with the new government seated on 30 November. According to Article 22 of the Constitution, the President must convene the newly elected Alding within 10 weeks of the election. The 63 members of the Alding are elected by closed-list proportional representation in six. Multi-member constituencies, with 54 seats distributed between parties at the constituency level with no electoral threshold and 9 leveling seats assigned to party lists at the national level with a threshold of 5%. Required in order to ensure proportionality with the election result, the 54 constituency seats are distributed within each constituency according to the Daunt method. Election lists are determined by parties. Voters have the option of marking preferential votes for particular candidates of the party they vote for, which can result in the order of the candidates being altered. In the 2017 election, the Social Democratic Alliance received seven seats, fewer than the Progressive Party, which came third in number of seats, despite the fact that it came third in the overall vote, with the Centre Party similarly receiving more votes but securing fewer seats than the Progressive Party. In the aftermath of the election, two professors at the University of Akureyri suggested that there was no need for a national 
constituency to allocate equalization seats, and that 15 leveling seats would be necessary to ensure proportionality in the future. In addition, the imbalance in number of votes between constituencies nearly violated the level stipulated in the Constitution. With 2,690 votes cast in the Northwest constituency compared to 5,346 in the Southwest constituency. A ratio of 199%, just short of the constitutional limit of 200%. Per Article 20 in Chapter 5 of Act No. 24 from the 16th of May 2000 law concerning parliamentary elections to the A.